Hey, what's going on, 8th Creators? I am going to show you a really quick video here on how to uh, include a uh, survey into your program. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is log into your Google Chrome. And so here's my drive right here all set up. Uh, the next thing I want you to have is another tab open that's for a QR code generator. And to do this, you're just going to go to goqr.me. So goqr.me. And then your program code. And so this is uh, my script here or my program that I have uh, my program coming in and I'll show you how that works in a second. So the first thing you're going to go to Google Drive and in here you're going to go to new. Go down. You might have to click on more. It might be up here but uh, you're going to go to Google Forms and this is what I use to build the surveys for a class and so let's click real quick uh, require synchronous login and automatically collect students response. The next thing uh, untitled form. This is the title of your survey. So let's call it Program Feedback. This is uh, your survey builder screen right here. And so, like again, this is the title, and then this is going to be the question. So the first question I want is, what did you enjoy the most about my program? That is a paragraph text answer. Where I'm looking for more, like a longer answer, and so I'm going to go paragraph text required question and then I'm going to add another question so here I'm going to click on this arrow and uh, click on paragraph text again what are a few changes I could make to my program to make it more fun these questions can be whatever you want as long as you are collecting information about uh, the success or engagement of your program. So what are a few changes I could make to my program to make it more fun? Uh, again, pr paragraph text right there. I, you, could other, you could ask another question along the lines of, on a scale of 1 to 5, what's the likelihood you would want to play my app again? 5 being I want to play it right now, to 1 being eh, not really that interested. Um, you could ask, uh, how likely are you to tell a friend about my app so they play it? Those are all questions that you could ask uh, to get feedback on how you could improve it. So anyway, I have two questions. I'm going to ask you you have at least four questions to seven questions max. Um, at the bottom, when you're finally done, so again, required, and I think that I make this one required, I did. Uh, done, you're just going to click on done. So now my survey is done. Uh, up here along the top, I can change my theme over here on the right to anything that you choose, really. Maybe I'm going to go with uh, farm life. Maybe my form is about farming. Uh, now, if I click on View Live Form, this is actually going to be what it looks like when people take my survey. And then uh, from here, if I click on View Responses, these are all the uh, responses that I'm going to get from my feedback. So I'm going to close this page, and I'm going to close this page. So this is my form. So. It has a really long URL on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it once to highlight the whole thing. Right click, copy. I'm going to go to QR code generator. From here, I'm going to paste my response into this box here. Now, it's not text that I want the QR code to go to. It is a URL. So I'm going to click over here in the URL box. Click here, paste. There's my long code. And then I'm just going to hit enter on the computer keyboard. And what that's going to do is generate my QR code. Now, slide this over. I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop. So there it will sit. And from here, it's super quick. I'm going to go to my scratch. And so I have my QR code generated. Everything is ready to go. I'm just going to go to my program here. And I created it as a sprite. And so what's going to happen is when I click on this green flag, I can move my cat. He touches the red. It goes to the next page. And there's my survey. So. What I'm going to ask for you is create your QR code as a sprite, put it on the very last page, and so I have mine. When clicked, hide, so when the flag is clicked, it goes away. And then I have it when backdrop switches to backdrop to show. So there's my survey code. And again, I just created it as a new sprite. And so if you're good, you can be done watching here, about 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, I will go, if you want to keep watching just for a little bit more information, I'll show you how to get it in there as a sprite, but uh, otherwise, you're good. Uh, so, let's assume that you're continuing to watch or you want a little help creating a sprite. 
to create it as a sprite, you're just going to click on this upload button right here. So upload sprite from file. Here it is, right there on the top, and you're going to click on open, and all of a sudden I have another sprite. There it is. So what I did for that one is I shrink down a little bit, and I was able to then move it around. And so I only need to have one on there. I'm just going to right click and delete that. Um, again, make sure that you have the code to uh, hide. So I'm in Sprite 2. For your QR code, backdrop is clicked. Go to the first backdrop. When the flag is clicked, hide this because you don't want that when it's on the first screen. Backdrop switches to backdrop 2. Whatever is your last backdrop, it could be backdrop 4, 6, 9, whatever is your last backdrop, that's where the QR code goes. So, anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, watch the video again if you need some more help. Otherwise, I can uh, float around and answer questions in the classroom. So, have a great day.